Hi, welcome to Messy Church. My name's Sue and today we're going to learn about the parable of the narrow door. Do you know what narrow means? Well, narrow means something's very, very short. That's wide. That's narrow. Which door do you think would be easiest to get through? The wide door or the narrow door? Hmm. I think the wide door would be easier to get through. But what if on the side, the other side of the narrow door, was something you really wanted? It could be the seaside. It could be a toy you wanted. It could be your friends. Now, if the only way to get to them was through the narrow door, and there was a person stood on that door saying, you can come in as long as you queue up, stand on one leg and sing Ba Ba Black Sheep. Would you do it? Well, it's not anything naughty, is it? So I think I would do. And then I'd be able to get through to my friends, which is what I'd really like to do. So Denise is going to read you the parable of the narrow door and you'll find out what happens in that. But now I'm going to teach you how to make a game which will be a little bit of fun and you can also think about the narrow door while we do it. So what you're going to need is a cereal box. You're going to need a cardboard tube, just like you get in the kitchen rolls, okay? In the middle of the kitchen roll, you need one of those. Felt tip pen, sellotape, scissors and a little marble or a ball. Now, scissors, we're going to have to be really careful with these because we're going to be doing some cutting. So always be careful with scissors and if you're not very good with them, ask a grown-up to help you, okay? So first of all, we're going to get our cereal box. Now with our cereal box, we're going to open it up at one end and cut all the way around here, whoops, all the way around there, whoops, and all the way around there. I've already done that with my box and when you've finished you should end up with one part that looks like a tray. So it's a tray like this so when I put my ball in it and I move it around it's not going to fall out onto the carpet it's going to stay in the box. Now the next thing you need to do is cut some circles out of your kitchen roll. So once you've done that you'll need three. One, two, three. Now two of those pieces you're going to keep the size that they are. Then with a felt tip pen you're going to write on these tubes a score. Now do you remember what I said about it being easier to get through the wide door than the narrow door? Did you? Great. So on the wide tubes I'm going to put a score but a score that's a lower score. So this tube, I'm going to write 10. So if I get through this hole, I'm going to get 10 points. So then what you need to do is you need to put it somewhere on your tray. I'm going to put mine there. Get some sellotape. So thread that through. Oops. Stick it onto your tube. So you've got sticky sellotape that end, sticky sellotape that end. And Stick it into your box. So there we are. The next one, I'm going to write um, 20. So if I get through this box, I get through this tube, I'm going to score 20 points. So the same thing, put your sellotape through. Oops, a bit tricky. Stick it down so you've got sellotape there, sellotape there. And I'm going to stick that in my box. So I think I'm going to stick that one there. Whoops. There we go. That's my 21. See? Now, when you get your third tube, I want you to get your scissors and be careful again. Cut it right up the middle so you're left with a floppy piece of cardboard. Then roll it up again. But make sure it's smaller than the others. So, can you see I've done this one? And if I put it next to the ones on the box, you'll see it 
it's a lot smaller, isn't it? And it's not as wide as those. So because that's narrower, I think we can give it a big score because it'll be harder to get through. So what number is bigger than 10 and bigger than 20? Mm, I'm going to give it a score of 50. So if you get through there, you get lots of points. Again, we're going to get some sellotape. It's very fiddly. I hope that sellotape doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to try with this piece. Oh, here we come. Got my sellotape. Thread it through again. And I'm going to put that one right at the top here. So I've got three tubes to get through. I've got my 10 tube, my 20 tube, and my 50 tube. And the only other thing you have to do, get your marble, put it into your box, and then try and get it through the holes. Oh, and I manage them. Oh, yeah, I got it through 10. I wonder if I can get it through 50. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got it through 20. If I manage it to get it through 50. Oh, I think this might take me some time. So, while I'm practising, why don't you listen to the parable from Denise about the narrow door? See you later. Bye. Today, we're going to read a story called The Little Gate, and it's based on the parable of the narrow door, which can you can find in Mark's Gospel. Here is a wall which surrounds a town. In the wall is a little gate. It has a funny name. It is called the Eye of the Needle because it is so small. Thank you. One day, a camel arrives at the gate. This is no ordinary camel. He has a fine saddle with red tassels and his own servant boy to flick away the flies. He is loaded high with carpets to sell in the market. Turn it over. Make way, he says, I'm coming through. But he isn't coming through at all. He can't get through the hole. He's too big. Can you see the camel? Yeah. Yeah. Try wriggling through backwards, says the boy. And he shows the camel how. Look, going backwards. Oh, Rufus has had enough. Camels never wriggle, says the camel. But just the same, he turns around and pushes his bottom into the hole. That one, that one. He heaves and pushes. He even wriggles, but it is no good. He cannot get through the gate. I'll unload you, says the boy. He unties the ropes and takes off all the carpets. Now try again. Do you think he's gonna get through this time? Oh no. It is no use. The camel still cannot squeeze through the gate. Your saddle, oh dear, that's too many. Your saddle keeps getting stuck, says the boy. You will have to let me take it off. And again. Without his fine saddle, the camel does not look proud and important anymore. He is just an ordinary camel. Can you see him? Once more the camel tries, down on his knees, Shuffling forward, inch by inch, until finally, hooray, he is through. Jesus says, it is very hard for a rich man to get into heaven. It is easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle. Hi, it's Laura here, with two helpers. <laughs> Hiya! Well, today, we're going to look at how to pray using our bodies. Oh, oh, Already, boys? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we are. We're going to start, as Elliot said, by taking three deep breaths. Are you yeah. ready? You need to stand still then. Okay. Okay. That's it. Are you ready? Go on, boys. God, you are above 
You are above. Below. Below. Inside. Inside. And all around. And all around. I worship you. I worship you. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. And I love you. I love you. With all that I am. With all that I am. And that was really short, and it only took a couple of moments, so I think we can do it again. Ready? Are we ready? Yay! Stand still. Okay. What shall we do while you stand there? God, you are above. You are above. Below. Below. Inside. Inside. And Inside. all around. And all around. I worship you. We worship you. Oh, we give our lives to you. We give our lives to you. And we love you. And we love you. With all that we are. I didn't oh. do it. That we are. And what do we do at the end, Ralph? Do you remember what we say? Yeah. Oh, Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Good boys. What does Amen mean? We'll see you next time, folks. And we'll now go. And enjoy a little song. Bye. Bye. Bye, Say, God, you made. God, you made a big blue sky. You made the oceans deep and wide. You made the tree so tall Your love is bigger than it all We sing The God you're bigger than big And stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty And louder than this song Your love for me Stretches farther than far And I can't imagine just how big you are, just how big you are. We sing the verse again. God's in the You're bigger than big And stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty And louder than this song Your love for me Stretches farther than far I can't imagine Just how big you are Just how big you are oh, I can't imagine Sing that chorus again. Cause God, you're bigger than big and stronger than strong. You are mightier than mighty and louder than this song. Oh, your love for me stretches farther than far. And I can't imagine just how big you are, just how big you are. Well, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? We're going to finish today, I'm afraid. Really sad, but we'll be here again next week, don't promise. But before we go, can we say the grace together? If you're watching for a while now, you know that it's the prayer that we always end with. It's a great prayer and we add some actions to it as well. If you want to know the words, they're down here at the bottom. And if you want to follow the actions, just do it, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well done. Do take care. Hope you have a wonderful week. Stay safe. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>